It's here. It's yep. finally here. It's finally here. Star Wars <laughs> final trailer. Yum yum in my tummy. I'm already excited. I don't know why I'm getting so weird about it. Let's drop the info before we move forward. We do a reaction channel, mm -hmm. other stuff. What what else? Um, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every time we post. Yes. Also, if you have any recommendations for anything that you want reacted to. Thank you. Words. Put them in the comments below. Thank you. Okay, great. You're welcome. Um, M and V, we react to things. Yeah. If you're down <laughs> with the <laughs> sickness, get down in the ments below and let us know things like she said. Anyway, wow. repeating it. This is the final trailer for Star Wars yeah. The Rise of Skywalker Episode 9. This is the last one for... The all of the Star Wars, well, not all of the Star Wars, for the Skywalker lineage storyline. Yes. More or less. Legacy. Ah, yes. Words. Anyway, let's get to it. Final <laughs> trailer. Soup, soup, soup's excited. Okay. Can't wait. Uh, uh, wait for the review and the critique at the end. Yes. Three, two. Fun. Is that Endor? <laughs> Yes! It's an instinct. It's pretty. That's a force jump. The feeling. The force brought us together. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. Yes. No one does. Yes. It's Thank on. You. Whoa. It's so cool. Long have I waited. Now, the team. And now. Whoa. You're Whoa. coming together. This is so cool. Is your undoing? Ah. Uh. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. Oh. At my friends. Oh. Nice. Yes. Confronting oh. fear is the destiny of a Jedi. This dialogue sounds new. Yes. Your destiny. Dude, that's the coolest. Whoa. Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the force will be with you. Sorry, that was the nerdiest noise I had. <laughs> 20th, right? Okay. Sorry, I thought there was going to be like a last minute thing. No, okay. No, okay. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. As a Star Wars nerd, as someone who's very excited about Mandalorian, all the Disney Plus stuff coming up, all the, the K2SO Cassian show... Mm -hmm. The Rogue One prequel show that's coming. Yeah. Everything else that's Star Wars, it's Obi Wan, that's coming. Yes. This, I'm very excited about because this seems like they're they're going to be wrapping everything up mm -hmm. for the Skywalker lin uh, lineage legacy storyline, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. they're going to be wrapping everything up in a nice tight little package. I wonder what that means. I mean, I know that means like everything, but I'm like, it, mm -hmm. including the prequels, this means everything. Prequels, original trilogy, and sequel trilogy. Mm -hmm. Plus all the stuff in between, plus the shows, I guess. If it's Skywalker related, I mean, I, I'm already just blown away. Thoughts um, going into this, what do you think? Yeah, no, I'm very curious specifically about the Kylo Ren stuff because the entire trilogy it's always kind of been a back and forth with him and ray are they against each other are they together there's kind of a frenemy sort of relationship there i don't even know they might even be related they yeah might not or be related. that someone might be a clone someone might not be a clone i'm just wondering whether we're gonna get a definite answer as to whether oh, yeah. he goes to the light side or stays with the dark side. I'm well, really curious about word that. Word on the street is, I don't know why I'm trying to whisper to you in front of them. Yeah. Because like, they basically know. It's not a secret. But, 
Word on the street is that we get definite answers. JJ, I guess in an interview, said that we're getting answers for everything. Like every okay. little question, anything that may have been open-ended. Which I find interesting because JJ is the king of open-endedness. He is. He, he keeps it open-ended all the time. He's like, he, it's like Cliffhanger. He's mm -hmm. King Cliffhanger. King Cliffhanger. <laughs> Something that I really enjoyed about this, we got more of an aspect of the alien worlds. Yes. I love that. It, it seemed more, like, I don't know if that was Endor. I don't know, but they were all very specific. They were all very unique. The monologue doesn't sound like dialogue I've heard before. It sounds like new dialogue from Luke, and it sounds like it's yeah. Luke. I mean, it could be a Force ghost. It could be... Uh, him? I don't yeah. know. Like, it could be anything. It could be uh, flashbacks. He could be coming to Rey in a dream. I had no idea. And then Palpatine, like, we see the throne, we see the Death Stars there. And then at the end, it looked like Rey and Kylo Ren were kind of fighting together again. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out Which, earlier. That's my question. I'm like, what is... Kylo Ren is all over the place. He's just... He's hot, he's cold, he's in, he's out. <laughs> Katy Perry, <laughs> Katy <Yep>. Perry, <laughs> Katy Perry. Um, <sighs> but that actually raises another question. In all the trailers, mm. they haven't actually shown Palpatine, which makes me wonder whether he's going to be in the movie in his original form. Good point. Excellent point. They haven't shown Palpatine, and they also haven't shown Luke. Yeah, because if everybody knows what he looks like, obviously, so if they were going to, that wouldn't be a spoiler. I mean, we got new dialogue from Palpatine. It's all been confirmed that, yep. that what's his name, Palpatine, men's below, on, correct us on everything, please do, and let us know if you want us to react to anything else. Even yes. Star, Star Wars related. Star Wars related. Star Wars related. <laughs> let us know. Um, also, uh... The, the concept that we haven't seen Palpatine, we haven't mm -hmm. seen Luke, but yep. we're hearing them. We're hearing them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thinking Force Ghosts, but I'm hoping that it, like, I'm hoping there might be something more to it. Like, yeah. I want flashbacks. I want flashbacks big time. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to when Luke had his temple and he had students. I want to see mm -hmm. that stuff. I, it might not be there, but I want it. Again, JJ is, is I think for once, JJ is going to finally have to, like, answer questions. <laughs> 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 and I'm laughing at this because I'm like, haha, mystery box. Guess what? You're going to have to answer some questions now, JJ. It's you, time. You can't keep <laughs> hiding behind your mystery box anymore, Abrams. You've got to answer questions. Yeah. Deal. And he's got to answer ultimate Star Wars questions, like not just Ray, but like beyond. Yep. Whoa. Actually, I, I, I feel sorry for him now. <laughs> I realize how oh, difficult boy. this endeavor is. But I trust him. Force Awakens yep. was great. The, I loved Last Jedi, despite mm -hmm. the weirdness. There yeah. is weirdness around Last Jedi. Let's admit it. We're star I'm a Star Wars fan. You're new to the fold. You're you're figuring things out. Your first impre your first like exposure to Star Wars all the way was Last Jedi, wasn't it? Yes. So as f so as far as you know, that's Star Wars. And well, no, because right. I haven't, you know, been totally living under a rock. No, I I, I know <laughs> what you mean, but like as far as you're aware, like from A to B story-wise that's yes. basically what you you've seen for a star wars story yes and not rogue one man there's a lot of things um so based on even last jedi you were still interested in the star wars universe yeah it still absolutely. brought you in not to mm -hmm. speak for you but i mean like yeah no i mean i haven't watched the prequels or the originals all the way through yet right um because that you know it's just it's commitment that's a lot of hours two but, hours each usually yeah. yeah but um i did go back and watch the force awakens and rogue one right after the last jedi and i definitely want to watch the rest of them so yeah and i think we put rogue one on after that and you watched rogue one after right yeah mm -hmm. and i did you enjoy that? These yeah. are the newer ones. No, I liked Rogue One. So she's these are pulling her in. They're like new audience. She's totally new audience. Yes. I'm older school audience, I guess you could say. It, she's still getting drawn into it, mm -hmm. even though it's for the hardcore fans. It might some things might be missing. I don't know what miss. Mm -hmm. I don't know what could be missing for people. I really don't know what could be missing for people. Sorry to like sidebar here controversy. Everyone who's upset about Star Wars, mm -hmm. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I I I hate to end with sort of controversial note. Maybe you can back me up here on this, but people who are getting really upset and sort of being like, "Last Jedi," blah blah blah, mm -hmm. or you know, not my Star Wars, and I'm just kind of like, "What's going on?" Like that's kind of a weird, hardcore fandom. Like yeah, 
and I can relate to that to an extent like I'm a huge Harry Potter fan I grew up reading the books so I am not hypercritical but I go into the new stuff right somewhat critical you know some of the other movies I'm somewhat critical of um brown eyes comment if you know what I'm talking about Star Wars made a Harry Potter turn. <laughs> but in general, I've loved everything they come out with so far. But I also feel like with Star Wars coming in with a pair of fresh eyes and being introduced with the new stuff right. will make me appreciate the originals a lot more. So I think there's a benefit to both sides. Definitely more pressure when you grew up, when it's something that you grew up with. Right. You. I mean, the Harry Potter... F- fans seem to be more supportive of Harry Potter when new things come out even if it's stuff they don't necessarily agree with they tend to be more or less supportive of it yeah Star Trek fans are kind of the same way too yep but for some reason Star Wars fans have kind of a weird toxic thing going on that's kind of scaring me and I get it discord is great disagreeing is great I'm all about that but as far as I'm concerned if I'm a fan of something I mean, you know, I get it. You're allowed to complain, but I'm Mm -hmm. allowed to love it, right? (laughs) Like, so if you're allowed to complain, I'm around. I'm I'm allowed to enjoy it, and you know, like I guess criticism, criticisms aside, right? Like prequels, I don't agree with prequels. There's a lot of big fans out there for that. Anyway, all that aside, I'm just trying to push for more positive fandom, and you know, if we're nerds and fans about things, yeah, Discord is great, but like getting angry and trying to petition to remove things and trying to like. Petition, cited petition to claim that Rain Johnson is the worst human being ever. And it's like, what? Like, what you, why is everyone so mad at that guy? Mm-hmm. Like, it was a team of people that made The Last Jedi, not just Rain Johnson. Like, yeah. a bunch of people, like, the producers signed off on it. There were other writers that, like, t- took mm-hmm. a look at it. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, I just feel like it's kind of weird for everyone to get mad at Star Wars when Star mm-hmm. Wars is what brought us all together. I, I get wanting it to be good and better, and I get wa- like being passionate about that. Yeah. But I think it's just more fun to be supportive, and if you don't like parts of it, do what I do and just ignore it. <laughs> like, I, like I don't know. That's just my personal thing. I'm not gonna push that on anyone. I just wanted to bring that up. In the mints below, l- l- let me know what you think. Let us know what you think. Fair enough. Fair enough. I we guess. We didn't rate it. Out of five things, I would say lightsabers, but. I'm gonna let you decide because you're you're new to the thing, so to the Star Wars universe. So I'm gonna let you pick the thing. But the thing I want isn't in this movie. Well, was it, well, we don't know that. We haven't seen it. It oh. could be in the movie. This movie thing. I, I think everything's in this movie. So like, what do you want? Porgs. Oh, the fandom <laughs> will be very divided on that rating system. Porgs. What? She is new. What a noob. Dist- All right, out of five porgs. Why not? What do you give this? Yes, out of five porgs. Porgs are cute. <laughs> I, yeah, they are. I They're adorable. Porg. I want a pork. Me too. Porg. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.5. I'm very excited. Four and a half porgs out of a potential five porgs. That's I'm sad. Five porgs. Five porgs. Yeah. This is, this is like, as a Star Wars fan and big fan of, you know, the character Luke Skywalker in particular and the Skywalker lineage, Kylo Ren is a great bad guy. I yes. Mean, he really is despicable. He's fantastic. You love hating him and, and man... Daisy Ridley, love her as the good guy, just finding her yes. way through this and finding herself and her own voice. That's awesome. That's basically what Luke was kind of going through. Mm-hmm. I'm five, five, five all, all day, all day. And all night, day. All the time. Why not? Because <laughs> I'm really down for this. And this is going to be a big thing for me as a Star Wars fan, rounding it all out. So that's going to that's yeah. gonna do, sir. We went a bit lengthy on this one, but we figured might as well. Controversy is worth discussing. And we're fans, and I just wanted to address it. Thank you for your time and your life. Not your life, just your time. Keep that. Live long and prosper. Okay, keep trolling them. I'm not, <laughs> like, that's very helpful. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every time we post. This fell apart. This is what happens. Once we start speaking from the heart about things, <laughs> your brain just blah, 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 blah. And then my brain goes blah, blah, blah. Residual blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Bye.